here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So this week we're going to be doing a little bit more sublimation and I can't wait to show you another substrate that you can sublimate on. But before we get there, thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I sure appreciate it. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button down below and click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. We try to do it every Friday. That's why we call it Inspiration Friday. So this week, I want to show you how you can supplement on slate. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before in the back of some of my videos, but this is actually a piece of slate and it does have a supplementation substrate on it. So I purchased these all ready to go to be able to supplement on and I'll make sure I leave you that link down below. But what's really cool about these is they come with these little stands and so it's really easy to display these. Just think about all the different things that you could put on here. So you're um, on vacation and you have that great picture or maybe your kids are getting married or you've got a new grandbaby which Lisa's got coming soon. So all different things that you could put on the substrate. So today my husband bought his dream car. He's got a 32 Deuce Coupe and he is in love with this car. And so it was his retirement thing that he really, really wanted. So I am going to put this on a, a piece of slate for him so that he can display the picture. Now, okay, so let's get started with this project. Now I'm at the home screen of Canva and I do have a paid version. And so the project I'm going to put together does have one element that you do need the paid version for, but there are other things that are on the free version that you can do lots of creation with. But let me show you what I am doing today. So in the, um, up here, there is a create a design. Okay. So if I go to custom design, I like to work with the size that my substrate is going to be. Okay. So my substrate is going to be definitely in inches, Lisa, and it is eight and three quarters. Oops. It is eight and three quarters by four and three quarters. So I'm going to say create a design. And so Canva is going to give me this blank slate. And I know this is exactly the size that I want for my substrate. It's a little bit bigger than our slate which will be perfect so I make sure I get it all the way to the edges. Now I'm going to put a picture of my husband's um, car on here so I need to scroll down and I apologize for the scrolling here but down here is his 32 deuce coupe. So the next step I'm going to do you guys is actually the paid version and this is a really nice feature that Canva has and if you go up to edited image I can remove the background of the picture. So it's got our garage doors in the back and I'd like to give something a little bit more with pizzazz. And so look at that feature, it cleaned it up so nice. So now I have got the 32 Deuce Coupe with no background. So now what we wanna do is let's click over here on the left-hand panel to backgrounds and let's find a background. At first I thought I wanted to use this black ink one and I thought it would look really cool, but you can't see the car. So I saw this fire one and I just thought it looked so nice. So I'm gonna make the car be a little bit bigger. Canva gives me the ability to center that just right. So now my image is completely centered. So I know I'm using my paid version and that background remover is part of the paid version. But you could just bring in a picture that you really like and be able to use this, these same steps um, to be able to put on your design onto Slate. So what I do now is I go to download and I always download as a PNG. Canva gives you different options, but I always do as a PNG whenever I'm doing supplementation. So now I'm gonna go ahead and hit download it's gonna take it to my download files. And then I wanna show you that when it comes in, it is gonna be the exact size we need. 
So if I go to my downloads that just came down, if my computer will cooperate with me, I can see that there is our picture, okay? And it is ready to go. If I go up to my um, files and I say print, and you're gonna see, it's gonna put it automatically on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. It is four and three quarters by eight and three quarters. So I can print this at 100%. Now I'm gonna choose my sublimation printer, which is my Epson 7210, and I am gonna choose sublimation settings. And the reason why I do that is my sublimation settings automatically mirror images. Now in this case, I didn't necessarily need to mirror image because there's no wording on it, but just for good measure, we're going to. One other step that I like to do is I'd like to go to my print settings and I like to make this be quality, okay? So it's gonna be the best print setting there is out there. Then I'm gonna click on print and I'm gonna meet you over at the heat press and we're gonna press this design right onto our slate. I can't wait to show you how it turns out. Um, if you've watched any of my supplements, I use my A sub paper um, and it just works out great. And then one thing I haven't shown you guys a lot of is I do use, this is one color, this is the um, blue. Um, I do use Cosmo ink and I just think it works really great in my Epson printer. So I'm gonna move you a little bit closer and I'm gonna show you how to put this together for the heat press and then we'll check it out together. Okay, so I'm trying a little different angle with my heat press so you can see the whole process. So what I have on my heat press right now is just my base plate. I've got my pad and I've got a piece of blowout paper, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take my blank um, piece of slate straight out of the box and this is exactly how it comes out, okay? And I am gonna grab um, my um, lint roller and I'm gonna roll over it just to make sure I get any, oops, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Um, just to make sure I get anything out um, off of it, any lint or anything like that. I'm gonna use my um, heat transfer tape, okay? Now this substrate, you are gonna do upside down, you guys. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put my um, design over here right now, okay? I'm gonna move the camera so you guys can maybe see me. See if I don't trip over the camera too. Okay, so I've got my design in my heat press. Now I'm going to take the substrate and I'm gonna turn it upside down on it, okay? I wanna make sure that I get it all the way covered. And I do have my design just a hair bigger. And so I've got it in there perfect, okay? Now, to be safe, I am going to put some um, heat transfer tape on it, just in case. I don't want any ghosting, and ghosting is when your image moves, and you definitely don't want that to have happen, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna take another piece of um, butcher paper, my blowout paper, and I'm gonna put it on top, and I'm going to engage it. Now, one thing I wanna make sure is you want to have pressure, but you don't want to break um, your tile. So I'm going to engage it and I am doing this. I'm going to release up my pressure just a little bit. I am doing this for at 400 degrees for um, seven minutes. So I'm going to join you back as soon as my buzzer goes off and we're going to check this out. Okay, the buzzer's going off. So let's check out and see how this piece of slate looks. Now, you guys, I do have on my gloves, um, this is super hot. You can definitely see my paper has burned. And I'm gonna see if I can carefully do this so we can see it. Oh, look how cool that looks. Got a glare there, you guys. Gonna let that baby cool down a little bit. Let me grab my hot pad here so I can put it on it and hold it up for you guys. Look at that, look how nice that looks. So just another idea of how you guys could um, 
show off some really cool pictures that you're doing. And I really apologize, you guys, I got a terrible glare there. So I am going to give you a better close-up view of this without the glare, but how fun it is just to find different things that you can use with sublimation. So thanks for joining me for another Inspiration Friday. And if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and make sure to share it with your friends. Have a great day.